everyone and welcome either to or back to my channel Just Jade. So for today's video I'm going to be giving you my top tips for how to organise, wash and sort out your laundry if you've got a big family. We have eight people living in this house so there is constantly laundry to do. Constantly washing it, putting it away, putting it on racks, drying it, putting the tumble dryer, whatever needs to be done with it. So there's a whole list of things that I do for myself and my family to make it that little bit easier. So something I really don't like is actually laundry baskets because if you've got a big family, they take up a lot of space, they're quite big and bulky. But I went to Costco a little while ago and I bought one of these, which is amazing. And I just love it so much because basically you can do what you need to do with it and then it just collapses like that. Oh, it's easier than that, I've just done it wrong. Ah, oh, okay, so it's collapsed now, which means that it's really easy just to store away anywhere, and then when you're ready to use it again, you just push it and pop it back out. So I've got two of them, because, as I said, I'm doing a lot of washing up, not washing up, doing a lot of washing the laundry on a daily basis, so I find it easy if I've got two, because then I can have all the clothes that are meant to go upstairs in one, and all of the clothes that are going to stay downstairs in the other. I've got two clothes horses. I do use the tumble dryer quite a lot at the moment because it's winter, which, well, it's actually sort of spring now, but it still feels like winter. But I try not to use it where possible. Obviously, if you're using a tumble dryer, it is going to shrink your clothes. So you need to try and basically keep it mainly for the towels and things like that. So I'm just folding up the different bits and bobs as they come off now and putting them in to specific baskets so this one is going to be for myself and my partner's clothes all the stuff that's going to go downstairs and in the other one we're going to have my children's clothes which are going to go upstairs also in this basket will be baby's clothes and my cloths and things like that that need to stay downstairs Now I have two empty clothes horses that are ready to use. I've got the children's clothes that are going to go upstairs in this basket. There's not much in there, thank God. And I've got all of the clothes that live downstairs in the children's room and in our bedroom as well. So I will be taking them into the bedroom. I've got loads of clothes already scattered over the bed because it's stuff that was already in these baskets that needs to be put away. It really does build up quickly and get on top of you if you're not doing it constantly. So I'll be putting on probably two loads of washing today. I've got one load already ready to go. And after that, I'll be doing the bed sheets that I changed the other day. I do tend to just mix most of our clothes together because as long as you're putting it on a low wash, it's not really going to give you many problems. However, with the bedding, I like to do bedding and towels separately because I like to put them on a much higher temperature wash. I've already loaded up the washing machine ready to go. There's stuff in the tumble dryer that's going to have to come up later, but I'm running out of space for baskets already. So what we'll do is we'll just put this load of washing on, go into the bedroom, start putting stuff away, and then we can start working on what's in the baskets. And then this should be done by then because it takes quite a long time. And then we can get this stuff out, put another load on. It's a very lengthy process. So, for washing, I'm using this, bold. So you basically just pour a capful in. I don't tend to measure it out because I'm too lazy and I've got time for that. Can we get time for that? So that's in there. I'm hoping I've got more of, oh, fantastic. No matter what I'm washing, whether it's got stains or not, generally most of the clothes do have stains because as I said, we have a baby and she makes a lot of mess so I tend to use a scoop of vanish no matter what I love vanish it's amazing put one scoop of vanish in there as I said this is a general mixed wash so I'm just gonna set it to 40 degrees like I always do for the general mixed clothes wash and then pop it on leave it to work it's magic I tried to sneak into the bedroom without waking up the baby, but obviously that never really works because you're a cheeky girl. So she's going to be my helper for now for the rest of this lovely tutorial. So as I said, before I started this video, I had both washing baskets absolutely full to the brim with clothes that had already been washed and needed to be put away. So what I do now is I've got the clothes that have been washed and clean that need to go upstairs. 
which is basically my eldest daughter and my eldest son's stuff. So I will put their stuff in here. And that can be sorted out when we go upstairs. You being a monkey. You cheeky monkey. Aren't you? Cheeky monkey. Oh, I've just put something that's not meant to be in there, isn't there? <laughs> so when I sort out their clothes or all the clothes that are in those baskets, I just always put it into different sections. So we've got like school uniforms in one pile, so it just keeps it all together. So it's organising as you go to save you time and steps along the way. One thing I always have, which is the worst part for me about sorting out laundry, which you can see here. Papa, don't be rude. <laughs> Cheeky Google Bear. Um, it's this big pile of socks, actually, you might not be able to see it in there, but there's a massive pile of socks. For me, when I sort out laundry, that is literally the worst part. So I think if you've got your worst part of any job, you either do it first or do it last. Personally, I always do the worst job last because I'm more likely to actually do it if it's just like the last thing that I've got to do. Because I can just think, well, once I've done that, I can just relax, even though it's the worst part. I don't know why I hate sorting out the socks. Probably because it just seems like the washing machine eats half of them and some of them never come back in pairs, so it's never a full set, which is very irritating. Papa? Ah, oh, cuddles. Okay, so as I said, we have now got the rest of these piles, which is all stuff that needs to go away down here. So, what should we do first? Daddy's underwear. like your wardrobe space this is chaotic at the moment I don't know why it's so chaotic but there is actually an order to what I do so like with my side I always have my jumpers on the further side and then I have my dresses and then like a couple of like t-shirts that I wear all of the time but then there's little spare ones in these boxes down here which are meant to be organized but they're not at the moment because everything's turned into a bit of a mess because I need a wardrobe declutter. And then on my partner's side, again, it's the same thing. So we start with the jumpers furthest away, and then you've got your t-shirts, and then like tank tops and stuff, which like half of this stuff you never wear, so you should just really just get rid of it, but never mind. Um, I will be doing a wardrobe declutter soon because it definitely needs it, and I need some new summer clothes. I move on to the baby's clothes, which is just in these drawers. She seems to have a lot of clothes for a baby, but then she is always very messy. You're a mucky puppy, aren't you? But the only way, the best way to organise it is to have these little um, like drawer dividers so you can just separate different bits and bobs up without making it all cluttered.
So what I do with the washing after it's done is pretty much the exact same as what I've done already that I've shown you. So I will have one clothes horse that will be for anything that belongs and lives downstairs, one clothes horse for stuff that goes upstairs, and obviously with any bedding, bed sheets, towels, things like that, I tend to put them in the tumble dryer so it's just that bit easier and quicker.